Good morning, everyone. Paul here from Unusual Things. Now, today I'm in Edgebury. Edgebury? Yeah, I think it's how it's pronounced. Edgware. Edgwarebury. Anyway, near North London. <laughs> and today I've come to see if I can see the gravestone of Amy Jade Winehouse, born on the 14th of September 1983 and passed away on the 23rd of July 2011. So she has been gone for 11 years now. Now at 10 years old, she went to the Earnshaw Theatre School where she was there for four years. At 13 years old, she got her first guitar and she was just one of the most distinctive voices of her generation. She released her first album, Frank, in 2003. And in 2006, she went on to release Back to Black, which was a major worldwide hit. I think it sold like 13 million copies worldwide and sent her stratospheric, it really did. Um, such an amazing voice, so distinctive, but she was a troubled lady. And, you know, she had problems with alcohol and drugs, addiction, and um, these sort of things mixed with hanging around with the wrong people at the wrong times was just a detriment to her career really. I remember seeing a show once where she was on stage and she was just very, very drunk and just not coherent at all. And it's always such a shame when you see someone's demise like that and for her to pass at the age of 27 is no age at all. So many celebrities died at the age of 27 that were really distinctive. The Brit and Grammy award-winning singer Amy Winehouse has died at her home in North London. The 27-year-old had struggled with drink and drug problems for a number of years and recently finished a rehab course. She's most famous for her album Back to Black. Now when Amy passed away, um, her bodyguard actually went into her room because she lived in Camden, in London, Camden Town. And her bodyguard went into the room and he thought she was just, you know, she had a heavy night the night before and he saw her drinking. Um, but, but he just left her in the morning and then when in the afternoon she didn't wake up, he went back and um, there's no pulse. So he then called the emergency services and um, sadly she was pronounced dead at the scene. And there is a video, which I don't agree with on YouTube, where you see like the, the coroners, or the, sorry, the, the funeral directors coming to um, collect her out of the house and I'm not gonna show that, because no, you don't need to. If you wanna look for it, you can do, it's up to you. But this area here is so gorgeous. I don't know if you can see behind me. Such a peaceful little place, it's really nice. But anyway, I hear that inside this um, cemetery, they are not too happy, which is fair enough for people to come in with their cameras and start filming. So I'm gonna have to be very, very discreet with it, but we'll try our best anyway. So got another 10 minutes yet and uh, then I'll go in, see how we go. If you watch the videos and you uh, enjoy them, please like and please subscribe to the channel as well. There are lots of other videos on here of different um, people that I've been to see over time. And also, um, if there are any unusual things that you want me to come and film. Um, someone said to me about the smallest window in Great Britain or in the UK somewhere. I don't know. It's just, <laughs> I don't, it's a long, it's in Yorkshire and I live in Hampshire. Um, and that's a long way for me to come and film a window. <laughs> but I ask for it, you know, anything unusual, um, I'll come and film. I'm sorry about the extreme close up today, but it's a residential area. area. It's early on a Sunday morning and I don't wanna to be too noisy and waking people up. Um, so yeah, anything unusual. And please leave your comments down below as well. Tell me your favorite song of Amy's. Um, mine's Back to Black, great song, love it. Um, and you know, what memories you have of her, whether she was on a TV show that you liked, did you go and see her on concert anywhere? What was she like live? I've seen her live on television, never seen her live in real life. And um, yeah, amazing voice.
never heard one like it since. And to be honest with you, from the start, I wasn't really a fan when I first heard her. I just sort of take it or leave it. And um, as only as time went on, I appreciated how good she was. And uh, such a waste, 27 to go. No, no age, none whatsoever. Now this is quite a big cemetery. And um, obviously it's a Jewish one. And they have different segments to it as well. Different areas. But it's beautiful. The sun's out over there. It's a really nice morning in here today actually. And it's quite a big cemetery. Quite a large area. And um, yeah. I don't know about you, but I always find cemeteries peaceful, relaxing. To be honest, I've only seen one member of staff so far. No one said anything to me about filming, but it's early in the morning, so hopefully uh, they don't mind when there's not so many people around. Okay, guys, we're just gonna have a walk along here. See if we can see Amy's grave. Here we are. In loving memory of Cynthia Levy, 21st of October 1927. That was Amy's grandmother to the 5th of May 2006. Beloved grandchild Amy Jade by the house, 14th September 1983 to the 23rd of July 2011. Forever in the hearts of their devoted family, Mitch and Jane, Janice and Richard, Melody, Elliot, Alex, and Reva. And I believe these people here are some of the people that Amy worked with. Thank you for the music, Amy. <laughs> People leave stones on on uh, Jewish graves as a sign of respect. <laughs> 